10 reasons why the Megalodon still exists. I feel like I've seen this one. This is 17 views. This is dangerous. It's nine minutes long with 17 views from a channel with 67 subscribers. This has to be satire. <laughs> Run? <laughs> Potential? I don't know if I'm scared or excited. How did we find this? It has to be the person who made it, posted it. Yeah, the person who made it posted it. Okay, we'll give you your attention, but if it's bad, I'm leaving. It's really tough to read. What is it? This video was written with the help of an AI. Ah, it's another AI written video. Okay, so it's like Whirly's AI written video. All right, let's see what the AI has come up with us, come up with for us this time. You guys have been requesting another AI written video for a while, so this is good. Thank you, chameleons. All right, let's see what the AI has come up with. It always comes up with such realistic and good theories about the Meg. The Megalodon, or Meg, was a kind of huge prehistoric shark estimated to have been up to 16 meters. 53 feet long, that hunted in the world's ocean for around 20 million to 2.6 million years ago. Like the slideshow. It's extinct in the ocean. So it's a pretty significant question. The most important fact about it, however, is it probably isn't. But the reason it's pretty incredible. think it's extinct. The most important fact about it, probably, though, is it isn't. <laughs> it's not extinct. It is isn't estimated that the Meg is an apex predator. Estimated. How did we get to number 10? Wait, what? Oh, that was literally just the intro? This is such a shit post. This is an insane shit post. The Meg had small human-like eyes. Did you what? know the Megalodon was human-like in size? That's a fact. However, <laughs> their brains were about three times the size of our brains and their small human-like eyes led researchers to believe they had very little cognitive ability. That's the whole of number 10. They have small human-like eyes, but a big brain, but they're still stupid. Why are the transition slides so long? Megalodon's shallow breaching <laughs> behavior? Help. What is this image? Oh my god, this is like a fungus-covered beach fish, and then you've got two cavemen with spears. What helped to kill the Meg? Besides humans, human hunters. The what helped to kill the Meg besides humans? Human hunters. A 17 year old boy killed a Megalodon shark with his harpoon. He was told the fish was dead and was relieved when the harpoon broke off inside the mouth. The shark flew to the surface where its body was collected. How was that in top? <laughs> That was number nine. A 17 year old boy harpooned a megalodon. The biggest shark in the whole earth was a megalodon. One of the biggest sharks ever discovered was a megalodon. These are massive sharks that measured 15 to 24 meters, 50 to, 50 to, 40 to 80 feet long. <laughs> this is pretty that was, impressive. there's no way that was the AI. That was the narrator fucking that up. The biggest shark on record has been cut in half, also known as the Oceart Shark. It is Steve Irwin and Captain Hook's legacy. What? More and more people are realizing just how dangerous these sharks really are. Sadly, there have been quite a few stories of people who have been attacked by these giant monsters. What well, is the most? I'm like I'm losing after the last video into this video. Like I'm losing my sense of reality and what is real. Like this is so baffling. I just. It's just such a shit post. Why is the music so loud? How did Steve Irwin and Captain Hook get into? <laughs> Why are the transition Megalodon slides so long? Still exist. Megalodon is not the biggest shark that ever lived. No. It is, however, the largest shark ever to go extinct. Despite the fact that they're made... <laughs> what an achievement. It's not the largest shark to ever live, but it is the biggest shark to ever go extinct. These are a massive extinction event that killed 90% of all shark species about 13,000 years ago. Wow. And Thir waiting for the fins for food. 13,000? What? The Meg went extinct because of a massive extinction event 13,000 years ago, and also we hunted their fins for food. Dr. Michael Vecchione 
is okay. an expert in marine biology. Sure. And author of the upcoming book, Megalodon. Sure. Is it real? <laughs> What's that relevant? How are we only on number six? A Megalodon shark had an unusually long scythe like jaw, which would open longer than the width of a man's torso. This gape is an incredible 80 centimeters, 31.5 inches long. What am I watching? <laughs> None. <d> <laughs> okay, I know you put in like something, and the AI slowly gets off of off track from that thing. But honestly, this has stayed more on topic than most of the normal videos that we watch. Did the AI create these transition slides? No. A whole ass human being created a deep fried chameleon with shitty white text that lasts 15 seconds long in between every reason. Megalodon sharks had enormous flipper like paws, which were massive. Paws? With a span of 76 to 89 centimeters. <laughs> I like this image. There's an entire wave here, and this guy's just surfing it, and this fish is just in the wave. Do you know what waves look like? Like it's a hump on the back and the front. Like. The entire ocean isn't higher here. How is the shark doing this while pointing straight? 35 inches. The arms were massive compared to any other fish. Scientists theorized that their name was originally an acronym mm, for Megalodon to <laughs> Megacephalic Shark. Their name, the name Megalodon was an acronym for Megalodon. Wow, that's deep. Meaning great colossal shark. The hands of a male reached to the elbow. The animal's mouth was 30.5 okay no offense to the narrator but the narration is just <laughs> insane added on to the fucking shitty powerpoint the ai thing the loud ass music the narration is just the like fucking carrot on top of just the shittiest shit post in existence it's a full package 25 centimeters 12 to 14 inches in width and probably moved for all or most of it <laughs> Flipping? Did you print it out? Why are you flipping through pages? Why do you need to do that? Did you print out the script? <laughs> mouth in a single movement. Gillen, 1992, page 173. Most of Megalodon's prey was presumably benthic, down at the bottom of the ocean. That was a whole reason. Despite being hunted for their large size, when a Megalodon shark is alive, it is not safe to swim with. Well, well, how much does it cost? The spot one is along the Namibian coast. <laughs> ah, this is hell. I'm not in the real world. I'm on a Friday night. I'm watching this. What is it? We are being brainwashed. I'm in a government facility being brainwashed right now. <laughs> Today are extinct, such as mosasaurs and ichthyosaurs. So it is likely that a Loch Ness monster is actually a plesiosaur. Why is it in the sky? The fact Why? Why is, <laughs> is it flying? I took me. So I've just. I've lost so many brain cells that it took me so long for my brain to realize that this thing is literally flying. It is still alive today. Could provide evidence that the megalodon is still alive. Number two. <laughs> this is what the government uses to get info from spies. This is like when they when the government revealed that they played Justin Bieber's baby over and over again to to torture victims to try and make them, you know, talk, get annoyed and talk. They just play this video on repeat to make you give out your information. The Megalodon would have been capable of swallowing a human hold. Rest, re rest researchers estimate that- <laughs> I love the one take. I love the one take. The page flipping, the, the mispronouncing words and just going back over them without any editing. Just a perfect one take. Uh, it really adds to the quality, to the whole experience. How many megalodons ever existed is unknown, but some paleontologists believe that there are as many as 700,000 of these gigantic fish. Wow. Okay, got louder. It's so deep fried. How is the quality going down? How is the quality getting worse? This footage was captured off the coast of Georgia, USA, by diver Benjamin Thomas of his brother Jason 
swimming with a huge megalodon shark. This is this Project is a was an accidental fight recorded as Benjamin tried to film a whale. No, this the is the remarkable footage of this megalodon is extraordinary. It's not. It was just a. That was not. This video is sponsored by BIC Snake Oil, the magical oh. cure that will have you free falling again. Okay. Wow. Um. That was truly an experience. I actually feel like life isn't worth it. Like, I don't want to just exist at all anymore. I just... That was the worst I've ever watched. I think that actually was the worst one I've ever watched. Oh.